Okay, <clears throat> now the next step would actually be to uh, add an element. And to add an element into this, um, into this view, what, what need to happen is we need to figure out how is it that we add an element. And uh, uh, let me open up again. The idea would be that if I say, for example, if I put plus here, okay, right now there's, there's some default behavior that I erased, so it breaks. But the idea is that when I click that plus sign, it should actually open up a new window that asks me for the next, uh, for the next book to add. So we're going to do that. We're actually going to create a new window that will open up when I click on a book, on, a, on the plus sign to add a book. So I'll open the new window in my storyboard. It is pretty cluttered as it is, but we'll try to create a new window. So I'll say, here I'll just go new file. Um, and then this is going to be an Objective-C class, next. I'm going to call it Add Books View Controller, and it's going to be a subclass of iView Controller. This is not the default, but I had it by default here. But you have to say it's a subclass of UI View Controller, okay? And then you click on Target it for iPad. You could click it with SIP for user interface. I have another video where I do that, but for now we're going to do it with Target it for iPad. Next. And then here, what happens is that um, it asks me where to create it. I'll push the create button, which you couldn't see really. And it added two supporting files, addViewController and addViewController.m. And that those are actually views in my storyboard. Look. Now, where are these things? I'm sorry, no. Then, I've added the file view controller, but I have no view to, to um, add it to, right? So I added a view controller that I'm going to use later, okay? Now what I need is another window, which are called view controllers, right? So I'm going to put it here in the storyboard, right there, that's fine. Right there. Uh, let me move it down just to have it in a nice pot. Okay, so that's my add view controller. Now, to add a book, I need a text field here and a button that says OK and another one that says Done. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do. So I will, um, here's my view controller. I, I'm going to, oh, by the way, I'm going to associate a class to this, which is going to be add books view controller. Okay. And I'm going to give it an ID. It says a storyboard ID. That's, that's the ID that this view controller will have in the storyboard. And I can just name it the same. Add books. I'll, I'll just say add books. That's fine. Okay. Now, um, I have my add books. Nice. It all changed on this side too. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few elements here to be able to... Um, to be able to enter a new name for our book. So I'm going to put a text field, text field here. I can not drop it there, but I'll drop it here, there. There's my text field. Let's see if we can, if I can make it bigger. Text field, please. Okay. I'm going to expand it like this. And expand it like this. This is going to look very ugly, okay? Just so you know. But um, and then I'm going to have two buttons. One here for okay. So I'm going to put done. And the other one is going to say cancel. Cancel. Oops. Cancel. Okay. Now, here's what's going. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. At this point, we have a window and associated to its view controller. How do we open that? So I'm going to go to my books master view controller, 
And remember we had an action that appeared when, uh, when I clicked the plus sign. That plus sign was tied to an insert new, new object um, uh, action. Okay? So, um, so we'll take, we'll take, uh, um, we'll change this action. Okay? Uh, do -do 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 we'll take this action out and we, instead of inserting directly, we're going to open a window. Okay? And we're going to open this window like this. We're going to say, we're going to create a new view controller of the type add book books, the type of the new window that I want to open. So add books view controller star. Now, uh, I don't know, I'm going to call it. Uh, Add window equals, um, and then how are we going to instantiate this? Well, we're going to say this is in red, by the way, because I have not imported it. So let me just import it really quickly. I'm going to, uh, well, I need to import it here. Import add books view controller. That's good. Okay. Oops. Now I'm going back here. So, uh, AdBooks view controller, new, this will be in the new AdBooks view controller, it's called add window, and the way to instantiate this, because it's on the storyboard, it's not going to be a new one from scratch, I'm going to say self.storyboard, instantiate initial view controller with identifier, and the identifier is the one that I put it where it says storyboard ID, which I think it was add books. Or add book. Let me double check. So I'm going to go to my master storyboard. What's the name of this window? Um, here it is, the add books view controller. I go to the identity tab, and then I say, oh, view. Oh, I didn't. I didn't put an ID or didn't save it for some reason. So let's call it add books. So that that way. All is saved. Master view controller will be add books, and then we're going to say add window. Uh, the windows they all have a delegate, but then I'm going to say self which is this window, present view controller, present view controller. What view controller am I going to present? My add window that I just created up here. I'm going to separate this, my add window. Do I want it animated? Yes, why no? Why not? And then completion, this is, this is a tricky thing. I'm not going to talk about this, but this one is going to be null all caps. My column. Let's try it. Click in Master. Click in Game of Thrones. That changes to Game of Thrones. Now we click Master. We have not removed functionality. We click Master. We click this plus sign. And a new window opens up. And it will allow me to type in here. And then I can click done or cancel, but those function those buttons are largely uh, non-functional. Okay. Now the next thing that I'm going to cover is we need to this new window that we open up, we need to control it somehow. All right. I am opening up from the Books Master View Controller, and whatever I type there, I want it to come back to the View Master View Controller so I can put it. 
in this array and therefore it can be displayed by the table. Remember, I want this, this new add view controller window that you just saw open up being controlled from my books master view controller so I can retrieve the contents from it. Okay? The way to do that is actually to, to call methods. When I'm on the Ad books view controller, I will try to call methods on the books master view controller, passing it all my information. Okay? And the way to do that, when you want one class to call methods from another class, you use what's called a delegate pattern. Okay, It's going to be a delegate. We're going to talk about that in the next video.